country, what it is they know about these uh, connections and to talk about the numbers specifically. Was installed, but I have not yet purchased tokens or vended. The article erroneously concluded that zero rent to paid meters is the same as non connection. Indeed, the 940,668 customers claimed in the article are connected with power supply, but they have not yet vended for some time. We wish to state the following. One, all prepaid meters come with preloaded units. Two, customers start to vent, i.e. buy and load tokens after exhausting the prepaid, preloaded units. Our interim report identified the following as some of the reasons for zero vent. A, most of the customers who were beneficiaries of Chipover, and Chipover is Global Partnership on Output-Based Aid, and last mile connectivity, were largely from informal settlements whose monthly consumption is quite low. As a result, therefore, most of them take several months to exhaust the initial preloaded units. Three, recent rapid developments of the property sector due to growing demand for housing are seen installation of prepaid meters even before full occupation of the houses. Also, in the least housing units, movement of tenants at various times occurs. This has resulted in a number of installed prepaid meters not venting for the period of non-occupancy. Number four, illegal connections and bypassing of our meters are seen a number of prepaid meters not vending. We are therefore undertaking the following remedial measures to manage the zero vents. One, immediately upon connection, customers are required to load tokens to be able to have power. Two, the company is actively engaging communities on the benefits of legal and safe connections, and where this fails, we are prosecuting those who have illegal connections and those who have bypassed the meters. We reiterate that the article was erroneous as zero vending of prepaid meters is not the same as non-connection or no connection. Indeed, the number of connected customers is accurately captured on a daily basis as validated in our ICS system. KPLC has therefore not lied to GOK as the government of Kenya as reported in the article. Kenya Power operates a centralized system that can be interrogated to confirm the number of customers connected to, to date. We confirm that the number of households connected to the national grid stands at 5.7 million, which is equivalent to about 63% of the national coverage. We target to connect 70% by the end of this year and universal access by the year 2020. Thank you. Thank you, MD, for the statement. I'll now request uh, GM Mutua to come and briefly uh, describe to us uh, the technical aspects of uh, metering. my colleagues, general managers, and uh, members of the four states. I have the pleasure of taking you through the, really the technical details of what is involved in connecting a customer. And I want to start by saying 
that uh, we got what I would say three segments of customers in Kenya Power. Uh, there is what we call the industrial and big commercial. Then we got the uh, commercial, small commercial, and a bit of domestic. And then we got the the our customers also who live in the in the people settlements. There is the slums. So they all follow different approach. Uh, just a bit of statistics. Uh, out of the 5.7 million customers the, the CEO has talked about, we've got around uh, 6,300 of industrial and big commercial. Then we've got about 300, around 315,000, which are pure. The rest are more domestic. And, uh, and uh, the guys who live in the, the people's settlements uh, combined. So really you can say roughly, the, out of the 5.7, uh, we got around uh, uh, 5.4 who are now the domestic and, uh, and uh, the guys who live in the, in the people's settlements. And therefore, you can see the bulk of our meters actually go to those category of customers. Uh, I, I want to start with uh, the big industrial. Uh, the big industrial customers, they form the bulk of, of all our revenues. Really, I can say around 55% of the revenue come from those ones. And those specifics, uh, they require different types of meters, uh, very big meters, which use technical things we call uh, CTs. Uh, th those are technical jargon, I don't know how to put it. But they require the small transformers for them to step down the power from the industry to go through the meter, if I can use it in the, in the, in the normal mass language. Those are done by our technicians who require what we call wiring certificates issued by a licensed electrician before they can be able to connect. Uh, so that all of them, all meters will be booked from our, our warehouses and uh, there is a process for doing that. The, the commercial, small commercial and domestic, and when I talk about domestic, these are domestics like now in your house, my house and any other person, uh, where you might need postpaid meter or prepaid meter, uh, those again will be required to present wiring certificates issued by a licensed electrician and for this matter the, uh, the electricians are licensed by the Energy Regulatory Commission. Various classes. For single phase, the, the, the electrician must be... <laughs> Ababu no mama here next to me is asking me what are these fellows talking about this is so Kenya Power uh, a press briefing they're talking about uh, the connectivity numbers in particular last mile connectivity numbers uh, some of which have been disputed so shedding clarity on that and of course it's a story we'll be following up uh, for you and bringing you details in our subsequent bulletins but as I mentioned we're staying <coughs> with the Budalangi member of parliament uh, a man who was really in the inner 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 circle uh, of ODM but now has moved to LPK 